This is the Pony Prepper Bill. Today's Tuesday. Uh, I forget the date, September something. And tomorrow I'm leaving to go to Gilbert, Pennsylvania to the military swap meet vehicle show. Um, they sell all kinds of military stuff. You can get MREs. You name it, you can get it there. Military vehicle if you want. I'm driving my buddy's camper up there because he sells like World War II Dodge and Jeep parts. And we have a good time every year. We camp there for a couple days. It's Friday and Saturday, but we go up Wednesday to set up. Uh, I got to get a part for the ambulance. When uh, I came back from 4th of July parade, the next day I had a big puddle under it. The PTO's leaking. And I don't have the winch on it anyway, so I don't need it. So I got to get a plate replace that but I wasn't going to do a video because this really you know I'm going away to a military thing it's really not you know prepping but there is stuff that I I buy there that is good for prepping and survival stuff and everything a couple of things I got I'll show you a couple of years ago I bought four of these in a case for $25 they are empty first aid kits Yes, that's for my coffee. I had a big stencil and I couldn't fit it. All the letters. It was just so I know kind of what it is. But I keep all my coffee stuff in here. They have a, a rubber gasket. It keeps everything, everything nice and sealed in there and dry. I've been seeing these for like 25 bucks a piece. But I got four of them a couple years ago for 25 bucks. And I, I keep everything in them. And this I got there, this is a, a five gallon military water jug. And you can buy these tripods that keep, let me see, put this one here. That holds your water jug up so you can, you know, wash your dishes and stuff like that in there. And a lot of things are really good. You can get these canteens. I think I paid 10 bucks with this. It, they're brand new with the cover. And some of them, you know, some vendors, they just sell the cover. Some of them just sell the canteen. But I think I got both of them. I bought like five. They were like eight or 10 bucks a piece. I had a couple of these old, and they were brand new. I don't know what the date is. This is, I mean, what's the date on this? I can't read. It says date. I'm not sure what the hell that says on there. 08. But these are brand new. Medical kit. Oh, can't close it now. But that came in a case. And I keep that hanging on the ambulance. It's got that the belt thing on the back, and that sli slides right over the thing in the on the dash. I got a couple of these. These were brand well, they were sealed, never opened. First aid kits. I, th I forget what I paid for that, but I bought like four or five of these, and then another guy for like five bucks was selling the, uh, some empty ones, brand new. But they got a rubber gasket, rubber seal, so it keeps everything dry if you want to use them for something else. And I love these, the old mess kits. This one is, I think, 1944. I don't like the Boy Scout kind or the, the newer versions. The old World War II, Korea, and Vietnam are the best ones. I like cooking in this. Another thing I bought was this field phone. It takes 2D batteries. It hooks up to phone cord, which I bought a reel. And I had another one of these that I misplaced or got stolen. I think it was in the ambulance for a display. But, you know, if shit hits the fan, you hook two of these together. You know, one in your barn or one in the house or one to an underground thing. It just works off a wire. You turn it, you crank it, and it rings the other phone. Of course, everybody uses ammo boxes. They got a rubber seal. They keep everything dry. 
Another thing that's good to have are sandbags. I, bu I bought a whole shitload of these a couple years ago, and then this kind, this is full of, that's full of them. And this I bought a couple years ago. This was brand new. I think I paid 75 bucks for it. All new inserts, all new rubber seals. This is great to keep food hot. This works great for camping. I, I make my chili, my meatballs, my sausages. Fill that up, heat the trays up, put them in there, put them in the back of the ambulance. They last two days. And this is nice to have too. Oop. This one is 1974. This is Vietnam era mermite can. It has your inserts, keep stuff cold or hot. You got these lids to pull off. I need new rubbers for this. Or you can take them out and it's a great cooler. This will stop keep stuff cold for two or three days. I bought this a couple years ago. I think this is from the Navy. Uh, the Army used them too. They used to hang, take the, it's a 12 volt, takes two of those big batteries inside, waterproof. It's like a freaking headlight in there. The batteries are getting a little old. It's not as bright as it should be. But these go for a couple hundred dollars. I found this, the guy was selling it with batteries and a brand new bulb for 25 bucks. And two years ago, I bought a box of brand new military trays. And this, I don't know if you can see it. This is a roll of the communications telephone wire. And it's on a stand. Yeah, you can't see it. But I got this cheap, and I don't know how many feet. This thing's really long. You can go from one place to another to run those phones. And I got that. Uh, I think that's Russian Geiger counter. And then up there, those two things are for like coffee, iced tea, water. They're they're great. I use them all the time just for ice water. If I go somewhere, I fill them up with water. But they have all kinds of stuff there. Uh, you know, army helmets. You know, fatigues, army boots, all that stuff. But they have a lot of good military grade uh like medical kits they have like the alice packs is that what they're called or the mole kits and you know the the backpack with the rack and they sell all that stuff sleeping bags tents i'm looking for like a big mash tent i haven't found one cheap yet but they had last well they didn't have it last year the year before they had a military issue brand new in a box with everything in it was like a medical medical kit but it was like a trauma kit it had all kinds of stuff in it that was like 200 bucks or 250 or something but each vendor has you know you, what you see when you first walk in two or three vendors down might have the same thing a little bit cheaper but there's a lot of stuff there that might be good for you know prepping for home survival or you know home preparedness type stuff and yeah this is uh in gilbert pennsylvania it's friday and saturday uh military show swap meet i think it's uh by the red ball military club or red ball express and i'll be there right across from the ice cream and french fry truck right next to daryl benzinger that's where we'll be uh, my buddy sells a bunch of stuff there we go every year and there's uh, i i always find something there and the main reason I got to go to find a plate for that, although he might have one. But I'll be up there driving a camper with a trailer with a bunch of stuff. And it looks like it was supposed to be nice all week. And now I look today and it looks like it might rain until Friday afternoon. So if you find like a military show, swap meet or something in your area, in your state, you might want to go. You know, you think military, eh, it's not me. But for, you know, home preparedness, survivalist, I mean, hunting knives, you find all kinds of stuff at these places. So I just want to throw that out there to you, and I'll make a video and show you some stuff maybe, or I'll put that on my other channel. And I'll talk to you when I get back. Bye-bye.